Hi, I'm depressed and I have been for more than four years now. So I've decided to take you on a journey, my journey, and see what happens. What do I have to be depressed about? Who am I to be depressed? I have everything. For those of you who don't know me personally, you know me because I'm Amir Khan's daughter and therefore you know those sets of privileges that I have. I'm financially well off and I've always had everything that I could possibly need and probably more. I don't want to be giving advice to people because um, I don't think I'm in, uh, that's my place. Ten minute speech, three things that I would say to myself that I sort of ingrained into my thinking. The first is that they are dying, starving children, people out there in the world, and my problems really aren't so big. The second is that we are all tiny, inconspicuous, inconsequential living beings in the cosmos, and I should stop taking myself so seriously. And the third thing is that no matter what is happening in my life right now, five, ten years down the line, with time and perspective, it won't be such a big problem to me, it won't be such a big issue, so why am I fretting about it right now? Between the time when my behavior started to change, um, and the time that I asked for help was about three and a half years. So I stopped taking care of myself, I started sleeping uh, a lot and thinking it was normal uh, or not realizing that I was sleeping so much. Uh, and then I slowly moved into immobility where I just did not leave my bed. I was making commitments and I was not being able to get myself to leave the bed to actually follow through with those commitments and then I would feel bad so I would stop making those commitments. I used to have a lot of control over my emotions but suddenly I didn't have that control anymore. What, are, what could I possibly be so upset about? What bad things have happened to me in my life? When I was young, when I was small, my parents got divorced. Uh, but that to me doesn't seem like something that would traumatize me because a parent's divorce was amicable. Uh, when I was six, I got tuberculosis. I had TB outside my lungs and I had regular TB and I went to the hospital for four days and got to bunk school and watch TV all day. Uh, so for me, it was not such a big deal. It didn't scar me so much. When I was 14, I was sexually harassed, abused. Um, and that was a slightly odd situation in the sense that I didn't know whether the person knew what they were doing. I sort of knew them and wouldn't bring it up. It wasn't happening every day. So it took me about a year to be sure that they knew what they were doing and that is what they were doing. And immediately I wrote my parents an email and I got myself out of that situation. sense of privilege, I guess, or my own sense of feeling that I had to have a good enough reason to feel like this made me not talk to anyone.
such nice people on my Instagram. There's so much more nice stuff and such little hate. Um, 